Some of the rates you can earn on stable coins at the moment are completely insane. And in this video, I will be taking a look at where you can get the best possible rates on your stable coin. Now, this ability to earn high interest rates on stable coins may not last forever. It is definitely top of the list of what governments really want to regulate. This could possibly mean in future we will see stable coins like USDT getting delisted from some exchanges. Our governments just do not want to lose control of the money supply, and they are also being pressured by banks who are losing tons and tons of customer deposits which are then flowing into stable coins. Even though it is far riskier holding your cash in stable coins than as compared to a bank, it is hard to blame people from wanting to get in on these high interest rates. Like for example the bank that I personally use emailed me last week saying that they will be applying negative interest rates to deposit accounts above a certain level. Now that level is at 1 million euro and definitely does not affect me whatsoever but I assume in years to come there is a strong possibility that we will see negative interest rates across all deposit accounts. And that combined with the current levels of inflation just means that your buying power is completely being eroded by leaving your money in a bank deposit account. And then you compare this to what you can possibly get by lending out your stable coins. As a bare minimum you can get about 10% and 10% as a minimum is pretty insane when you compare that to what you would get over the last few decades just by investing in the S&P 500 you would have been lucky to get about 8% on average. So now let's take a look and see where you can get the best possible rates on your stablecoin. There is one really useful website called DeFiRate.com which we can use to compare a lot of different platforms. But this website does not quote every single exchange. There is one they have omitted that offer really, really high interest rates, which I will take you through also later on. So here is the DeFi rates webpage. So I have just filtered here by lending rates. You can switch between lending and borrowing. And I'm gonna have a look at some of the most popular stable coins. So we'll have a look here, for example, at USDC first. So the current interest rates available to you when you hold USDC are 2.86% on Compound, 3.26% on Aave, 6.35% on Fulcrum, 7.5% on BlockFi, and Celsius are the best at the moment giving you 10.02%. If we then have a look at Tether here now, Fulcrum are offering the best rates here at the moment per DeFiRate.com at 16.04%. These rates are constantly changing so this is a good place to be able to come back and just get a quick snapshot on where it's offering the best rate at the moment. So you can also switch here by the 30 day average just to see who has been offering the best rate over the last month. But it is not just always about going with whoever has the highest rate. It is also very important to consider the reputation of whoever you are trusting your money with. Like a couple of these have been caught out by different hacks in the recent times. So definitely do your own research so you are comfortable with whoever you are trusting your money with. One exchange that is not shown on DeFiRate.com is KuCoin and they have a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform that offer pretty incredible rates. Let's take a look at this now. As it is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform and you're not borrowing or lending with KuCoin itself, you will see lots of different specific amounts that you can possibly lend out at different rates and different terms. So I'm just looking at Tether here for example and you will be able to see the daily interest rate, the annualized rate and the term of each of these loans. Basically borrowers who are looking for some money to do some trading are putting through borrowing orders for how much they need specifically at specific rates and when they plan on paying it all back by. And as you can see here based on the annualized rate as I'm scrolling through the funding market, you can get some insane rates on your USDT. It goes up as high as a few hundred percent which is absolutely crazy. So what you can do here is try and estimate how much interest you can possibly earn. So let's look at this one here for example, they are looking for 1001 USDT over 7 days. So 1001 here and if I click on that one, that will give me a daily rate of 0.81%. So over 28 days, I can earn $227 interest. So that is just the estimated profit if they pay back on the last day. So that is one other thing to note here. The borrower can decide to repay that loan whenever they want. And if they do repay this loan early, then the interest will stop accruing. So you could open up this loan with a term of 28 days and the borrower could end up repaying the whole loan within an hour. And another important thing to note here is at the very end of the loan, you will receive approximately 85% of the interest. This is because KuCoin are gonna take a fee and they're also gonna take a small portion for an insurance fund which is meant to protect you if the borrower ever defaults on any of their loans. 
Now these borrowers are meant to put up a certain amount of collateral to try and prevent you losing your money. But in some cases that collateral can be depleted if the price of that asset plummets for example. And then if the borrower cannot repay you on that loan ideally this is where the insurance fund should step in and protect you. But the one thing I would be sceptical about here is has this insurance fund really been tested out? What if everybody's collateral suddenly just got evaporated? Would it be able to take that kind of a hit? Probably not. So you really do have to recognise that there is a certain element of risk. It's not like putting your money into a bank account. KuCoin also have this auto lend feature that you can turn on and you can decide whatever your minimum daily rate that you want to earn. And say for example if you have it lent out and that borrower repays the loan, this will then just automatically just reloan out your money and at the rate that you want it to be at. So what do you guys think? Do you currently lend out any stable coins? If so, what rate are you currently lending it out at? Is there any other platforms other than KuCoin or the ones we've looked at today that are offering even better rates? Let me know in the comment section. And if anybody is new around these parts, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to try and keep up to date with my latest videos.